this is breaking news hello folks i am kweku anan and this is our breaking news story well yesterday 25th of uh, october 2022 uh around 10 a.m thereof we were all you know greeted with the shock and the breaking news of majority or if you like the eighth parliament of the fourth republic converge at the august house to begin the business of the day and before the business of the day will commence majority have to hold a press conference to ask the president to dismiss his two finance ministers or he chooses to lose the support from the majority 80 in number on the side of the majority stood held a press conference and asked the president his excellency adodankwa kufuado to sack his finance minister together with his deputy charles Edubwahin. that for me is a very instructive and extremely serious political blow but first of all, let's bring something to our listeners and viewers that yes, this is a state in which I should say that the president should have gauged the political atmosphere and could easily figure out that this was like a cumulus class that was drawing closer. I mean, that trepidation was zeroing down on the government of the new patriotic party of which the president is in charge but then however that the president has touted many political economic goals that must resonate with the people of this country again the question what begs the question what is it that the legislative house would speak against the backdrop of all the policy driven that the president has touted again the president could not also come to terms with the reality that the members of the august house are the same people out there who were asking the president in quabre district about what roads construction and other infrastructure development and the president says sees what in this very circumstance we find ourselves in we are almost on the verge that the house the august house would have to raise to this majority to impeach the finance minister whether the president takes this move or does not from the clear state of this political overtures clearly if you do the arithmetics parliament according to law must raise two thirds majority a two thirds majority in this very present circumstance of the of the situation Parliament needs 100, 183. And 183, if we are even talking about 137, 137, what it means is that now that the majority have thrown in the wave, it is obviously now single, you know, it, it singles out the symbols of the minority to come across the dining table to ask it to have a dinner. And of course, we have now also gotten the signal that a minority says that hey we are here to join the majority to as it were raise this impeachment against the finance minister it begs the question what then becomes the executive powers of the president can the president issue any executive orders to as it were topple this the answer is no the two-thirds majority surely would work and this may bring to yet another political blow to the presidency it is more like whether the president was moving with a certain political proclivity who advised the president and what kind of advice is offered to the presidency again for us those of us who operate in the world of security and intelligence what did the president's intelligence chief chiefs briefed him of the state of affairs or the state of the nation the political economic atmosphere of the nation 
And what is it that the president ought to have quickly picked up so he could shape, change the call sign or adopt the shift shape approach to, as it were, escape and avoid this torpedo? It is a very, very serious moment. The president now is dancing in the very clear state of political demagoguery. But then that also can be seen to be that of, well, a clear state of political demise of the new patriotic party in want of or in their quest to say we are going to break the eight years political cycle. It may be far from reality. It was here for a summary or someone a who pay a BC away a political fourth Republican constitution a BC that nowhere how right from former and late fly lieutenant George and Rollins era a BNC ah BC all the presidents a union na a BNC that until then in the first in our history a BNC even in the era of the first president of this republic his excellency or sergeant for dr kwame Nkrumah, a bnc that that's where the legislative house can move a force to topple the executive a bnc way soon i may even say democracy network on my own see a genie and i see a bit in your age yes there are other school of thoughts other school of political thoughts that is reading you know gauging the mapping or gauging and mapping strategy here say eh? well it's because the minority leader no, uh, made a move say he was going to move a motion to impeach the finance minister whether that is possible or plausible whichever way that one look at it depends on which flip side of the political arena you hang or you stand and you zero in but then for me it's a colorful move by the entire house to demonstrate it's a clear demonstration to our executive presidency that power cannot will not and should not be made ultimately concentrating at the apex of the executive orders no it is pretty dangerous it is pretty bad and it is now for us to understand the abraso that gun and penny for but to a master say to media to media no the piano a concentrity at the executive now and who be here say we need to immediately immediately with a beam of speed light change the course sign change the constitution amend the constitution so constitution here are many in the year and your man added them said the other oh man penny all the calls from walk of life all walks of lives calling on the president mr president change your finance minister and then i said for this call to the president to change his finance minister clearly has suffered political amnesia and for me it is not too good enough the presidents in africa governments in africa have become adamant they have become so 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 much power consumed and to extend that nothing bothers them any longer president take a cancer and say me we are gonna for the year dream you know not open he being so abba ah or your honey and you know you're respecting them or chain it i want to make a equal back up and would this way you walk out of dinner he was on on a buyer or say gonna for no year casa no yeah then yeah you know or see yeah yeah uh fence saying i'll be for a few so so woman so i criticize it baby baby so i will be in class for us in class for my enemy and day but then again what you know on the basis man or changing back as the same way seven seven previous or changing the better than once i say answer no bay or chain and so a class in your own and son of work out in america for so many years before and son of all back me actually idiot idea you didn't see idea so yes on it here so on what basis if the people criticize the government for me we should not make it look as if that it is only that kufa this government and will suffer this very accusation or going through this baptism of fire we must understand one thing say yes under the direct principles of state policy so if you are not if what you are doing is not reflecting in a certain intrinsic state of mind 
then instinctively Ghanaians can see from now and afar say your government will surely or has hit the iceberg not the chip of it you need a life oxygen to survive and before we provide that life oxygen support we are saying the Ghanaians were calling for the head of the finance minister and the president ought to have heeded to this advice failure to do it this is where the president today is suffering or has come to hit this iceberg that what may follow suit by our intelligence what may follow suit to this political demise now we can say the presidency is walking in a lame dark period as political science we say the president his excellency Adodan Kwakufuado, is walking in a lame dark period but then we ibisa say is this good for him and his presidency and for that matter the governing party npp the signs on the walls are not too good enough now the let's also go back and do another case study analysis here and most often times when the government is toppled by the military the first attempt is to ensure say parliament is dissolved now when they dissolve parliament obviously the the governing party you lose all your power that is the first thing we should take in cognizance if any government will be toppled by a military in any military coup the military you know first will topple the uh first, uh, the legislative house because it is obvious and so pretty well known sir about 80 percent to 90 percent of government business comments from the august house so when they dissolve the house then the executive executive will not have any power what it means here now is that if the executive by no any compelling power under any reference could just move straight to topple the executive powers then i am sure that the political pundits can begin to you know read into the radar and guess what 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 is next what is likely to be the next to follow suit of what is happening currently in our political economic history mr presidency akufuado has to gauge the times ahead and if the npp will look at it say if where we are it would they will be better off even to say mr president on step it down so we'll go for early election so or somebody will take over then for me it would be one thing to do to save the image of the governing party one can see a lot of troubleshooting a lot of troubleshooting you know and then pp should do one thing to save their sinking image the governing party npp the new patriotic party is sinking too fast if you go back and trace their history right from uh dr kofi abrifa buzia of the pp government the progress party that was overthrown by kutu echampo then they came back metamorphosis into what you call the up from the up as they were gearing up and preparing and marshalling that political preponderance to go for 1979 elections then came yet another political you know conflagration that resulted into a, some form of disintegration and then they came in a formation of the unc which was then handled by oforiata and his cousin paoli we are told this president was your secretary i stand to be corrected though then came the action congress party by benasco we have the uh, pfp by victor Wusu. that was also yet another history Ghanaians have not come to terms with there's there has always been that of what can be described as a certain confusion that breaks the uh you know it lingers around their progress and at any moment when how they have to take a full flight into making history then something jumps in from the up that they never saw that glory then came then they have to form yet another political organization called the npp if you count all the steps that I've outlined, 35 years in the wilderness, this is the time after former President Kufo, this is the time the new patriotic party has gone for glory. Now, India, having gone for the glory and to break the cycle called the eight years, now, at the tail end of wh whether, whether or not they will succeed on that drive, 
then comes yet this political showdown and this overtures is not really too good enough for the presidency you know and 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 if you look at the deep-seated you know the 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 angles to all of this and and the massive propensity that is yielding on the ground will obviously throw the government out of gear if care is not taken in who ye oh say yeah the necron super casa if you gauge the mood and the transmission of the foreign currencies against that of the city for where the city is unable to appreciate this foreign currency uh i said it some time ago that the new patriotic party should stop singing this praises and worship russian ukraine war russian ukraine war because if you look at the south of the saharan clearly a lot of enema be brave air coswa hsa and yet gun and any eyewitness russian ukraine war russian ukraine war which the MPP are to say and nominal for a very, very long, 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 long time. But the statistics of reading or checking this in Kungu, starting with Kungu, Ucheki Kungwa, Kungu, and this is ranking of South Sub Saharan African countries with the highest food price increases in 2022, right? banking no, sorry ranking of sub-saharan african countries with the highest food price increase in 2022 ghana was the first in the south of the of the saharan african continent to have attained its independence and shortly after independence spirit of gloom and despondency have become a commonplace with their moral decadence become the highest of order now, who share the rankings of food? Um, Congo, Congo, which are saying 0.4 as far as it is concerned. That means we are going to be able to say Gambia 0.4, 0.9, Mozambique 1.0, Angola 1.5, South Africa 2%, Kenya 4%, Nigeria 6.5%, Uganda. 7%, Senegal 11%, Ghana and Kwakuta saying 22%. Why must food be so so expensive in Ghana, ranging from saying 22%? Adding, why? Why must it be? Why? I can only recall some time ago when Kutue Champon's government took over power. And at the close end of his government between 1977 and 1978, Ghana's inflation quo about 117 and dropped it to about 68. We had domestic and foreign debt stood at 3.6 billion, 2 billion respectively. Then food prices came to saying 50%, with crude oil hits $35 per barrel, all time high. Population jumped to 2.8%, still increasing. Currently, as I'm speaking, Ghana's population is what? It's 30.1%. I repeat, 30.1%. It begs the question, why 30.1% still cannot feed itself? Why? What is accounting to this? 30 million population is the, is the total workforce of a company like Samsung or Apple so why can't ghana as a whole as a republic with all the endowments of the mineral deposit oil and many more cannot even take care of itself what is calling for this and what is accounting for this well let's listen to a uh, majority for no press conference no more take a listen to them the parliament of ghana and we here so present present a greater number of the said caucus. My name is Andy Apia Kubi, and I am only here as postperson for the majority group. Without more, we have had occasions to defend allegations of conflict of interest, lack of confidence, trust against the leadership of our finance ministry. The recent developments within our economy are of great concern to the greater majority of members of our caucus and our constituents. We have made our grave concern to the president through the parliamentary leadership 
end the leadership of the party without any positive response. We are by this medium communicating us from the Minister of Finance and the Minister of State in the Finance Ministry without further delay in order to restore hope into the financial sector and reverse the downward trend in the growth of the economy. The summary of our concerns lead, leads to a plea that the Minister of Finance, Honorable Kenneth Ufuriata, and the Minister of State of uh, the Ministry of Finance, Honorable Charles Edubuahi, be removed. Great. Now, Yeti and Riri, Uriya, Debi Amekase, Asofwa Mosumu Time Muha, some of you, Kwanye and some of us may have boa, more men yet me chichiri, you know, more shame a young one yes out. No more so to hold tons I can see no more can. I call them the last line of defense. Instead, says or more share a banging him no more criticize, say a banging constructively for the government to do what is right. Woman so bar, almost hey, we are coming to speak for the dollar to this, the CD to be this, and I'm just going to show you a video, you know. The cascading effect of all of this, and you need it is it is it is a total collection, and it's it's about all of us. Uh huh. It's about all of us. It is a see a share, sir, and you're my way. Uh huh. It it to and to say say we will allow another system of government to take over. No, it's untenable. My soft one also be sure me I hear the right thing. No more say be John. We arrest the city. We arrest this. Oh my ni na aye political gymnastic and religious gymnastics. Any year year we my name. Ni anko ponse two and wash. We just say we've become a mockery and a laughing stock. Take a listen to this man of God who also says that he's praying to arrest the city or the dollar which side of the flip side of it that he's coming from i don't know maybe you may understand him take a listen to him say i lift up my money right now and i command the city say i i hold this money in my hand right now the city say i oh i hold up the city i hold it up say i hold up the city with prayer and I command the city to recover. And I declare the city will not fall. It will not fall. It will not fall any further. It, it goes out. I command the city to climb. Say, I command the resurrection of the city. In the name of Jesus. Say, I command a miracle for the economy. I command and release a miracle for Ghana's economy. In the name of Jesus. Say, Satan, take your hands off the president. Take your hands off the central bank and the finance minister. Say, we release innovation for the president my god the governor of bank of ghana central bank in the name of jesus christ the son of god the finance minister say we command new ideas breakthroughs and a miracle for the economy let the city rise in jesus name amen at the end of the day is here tm wants to say ghana and penny four Professor Doctor Emeritus and Kwasia Samna Dorso. Now my main kebi being sure Ghana was a look, baby ye drun wrong. It's not a joke anymore. It's not a joke anymore. We've got into the crossroad. We are the crossroad. I'm telling you people, we are the precursor of a debilitating showdown. We are the precursor something must be done quickly to rescue this country ghana stands as a strategic ally to many developed countries many many developed countries and they cannot afford to to see to as a ghana you know we we find ourselves in a classic state of cookies crumble and it's not good enough the framers of our constitution where are they the implementers of our constitution where are they the law enforcement agencies the national security everything is crashing down you know and it looks as though the president is, is so much obsessed with with something that drives him and he still doesn't really have any proper interpretations of meanings to whatever by the way if akufu even resigns today is it news it's not it is about the fact that we have to save the country it got to a point in the history of britain 
Britain have to force Boris Johnson to resign. Why? Because a new man Boris Johnson, I A D C N, it got to a point that the the people of Britain created him say Boris Johnson once upon a time in his age 16 years thereof was a spy to the Russian government. And they rush in fact, saying the British intelligence agencies until they got all those declassified materials. You know, the reason why most of the Russian oligarch Ababi CCC businesses were Britain, no more business, need trade now. So for the same Boris Johnson you know, could just fly to Ukraine and go and solidarize with the Ukraine people. This is like a political betrayal, is it not? So we have to understand that the people of Britain have to save the country and not jo Boris Johnson. And so he was forced to resign. Yanka Seyinia, Kwesi Kwatin, the British uh, friend is saying, Chancellor, Exchequer, 36 days in office, gone. Follow suit, the British Prime Minister, Liz Trash, or non so, or say, hey, 42 days in government, part or court. I didn't know much to me yes and your way in their country now african government moon to me yes they be all can mp before move say yeah yeah it is only in the first in our history and now you know unprecedented ministers or money it be good a buy more will be a a year the open uko one ministry ministers a go back a candy do minister deputies a hood or our mina uko commercy we don't draw salaries but this is not a time for this We'll come back and do a critical analysis of the situation of this political overtures. And we would go deeper if we be in Yoma Swatch Regana for the man who said in Yoma AC Etienne. Well, this has been Kweku Anand TV breaking news story. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. For inquiries, please call 020 252 that's zero two zero two two eight three two five two. Unsubscribe and press the notification bell for more videos.